Welcome dear creatives. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make um, fabric butterflies headband. So we'll be doing a DIY on fabric butterflies headband. Now this is what you can use to scoop your swallow and that's what I used to form my circular base. Yeah, we can call it a scooper. And then this is the measurement, 6.5 inches, you know, on both sides. So just in case you don't have this circular stuff, you can just get 6.5 inches horizontally and 6.5 inches vertically, and then you join the points. Okay. You also need your stones, your Alice band, the stone picker, or you could use your elastic band or your hair clip. Well, in this case, I'll be using the hair clip. Also, you need your fabric. Any fabric of your choice would do. You need your B6000 glue. You need your scissors. You also need your needle and your thread. Matching color of thread preferably. You need your hot glue gun. Okay? So we'll get started right away. I don't think I mentioned ruler. You need your rule, ruler or meter rule. <laughs> okay, so now we'll start by taking our measurements. I used 10 cm by 10 cm for the square shaped um, fabric and then the circular one like i said you can use your circular base that you have at home or you use your um tape to measure 6.5 inches by 6.5 inches so now i'm going to place the right side facing each other and i'm going to stitch all around just this way okay i'll repeat the same thing and stitch in a circular pattern right side facing each other of my fabric and i'll be back Kindly note that while stitching, you will leave some space. You won't stitch everywhere completely so that you'll be able to turn it over. So I'll just leave just a few inches, maybe one inch. Yeah, you know, just somewhere you can easily turn over and then stitch later. Or you just cut the center later. So I won't be leaving, in fact. I'll just cut the center at the end of the day and turn so that I can easily cover it up when making my butterflies. So at this point, I'm already done stitching round, okay? Now I'm just trying to dog ear. Is it dog ear that it is called? Okay, nudge. <laughs> I've tried to nudge, nudge all around so that um my material can, you know, be smooth and lie down properly. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but if you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer. Right now, I'm trying to make a little opening at the center of my fabric so I can turn it over. It was the same thing I did on the circular fabric. Okay, so keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize. You can decide to pad your fabric. You can use your wording. You can use, yeah, the light wording, soft wording, you know. You can just use what you have that is good to pad it, you know, so that it will look fuller if you wish to. Okay, just feel free to make what you want and make sure it comes out beautiful. I would love to see yours. You can reach me through the number that is showing on your screen. You can send me a WhatsApp message. Okay, right now I turned it over. I'm going to use um, my picker, the stone picker, to just go around it over like this. Like, just keep pushing the picker into the fabric so that it comes out neater. Okay, so keep watching and learning. Remember to practicalize. Next, I will use my needle and my thread, matching color of thread, to start stitching. Just watch what I'm going to do. It is easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll stitch diagonally. It will be a running stitch, okay? Now, there's a way I'm going to join it to the other one, so that I don't need to stitch them separately. If you watch, you will understand. It is easy, like I said. If this is your first time of coming to my channel, of stopping by, thank you so much. You are welcome. This is one big family. Oh yeah, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you will not miss out on my weekly DIYs that I drop every Wednesday by 3 p.m. So now you can see how I formed part of the butterfly, right? I just stitched diagonally. Hmm? Watch carefully. I'm just trying to make sure it comes out neat. Like I'm trying to bring out the edges and 
smoothing it before I can attach the circular base. Okay? Now, if you are coming back to my channel, like this is not your first time of stopping by, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for coming back. Also, remember to turn on your notification button if you have not done that, okay? So that YouTube notifies you. Please, 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 whether you're a returning subscriber or a new person that stopped by, please like this video, comment, share, so that more people would get to see this video and learn how to make this butterfly headband too, okay? Now, I'm going to attach the circular part. Can you see? Just watch how I'm going to do this. It is easy peasy, like I said. Now, when you're doing this, make sure at the same time, you're trying to cover up that center, that hole you made at the center. Also, make sure that the hole at the center is not too big, you know, so that it, it won't be difficult for you to cover up. I hope you understand what I'm saying. At this point, I'm going to cut off the excess thread and then I'm going to tie. We are not done with this beautiful butterfly headband or butterfly headpiece. We are not done at all. Would like to embellish? Feel free to embellish with any um, embellishment of your choice. You can use stones like I would be using here. You can use beads. You can also use some feathers. Okay. So at this point, I would use my stone and my stone picker to embellish it and i'm going to concentrate on um you know the center of my butterfly headband If you know why I chose to use my B6000 glue in this case, 
let me know in the comment section you might just be the winner of a gift okay then the next thing i'm going to do after attaching my stones is to do the final stuff you will know when you keep watching keep watching and learning remember to practice lies At this point, I'll be using my hot glue gun, you know, I'll just put some of it at the center, you know, the other part that I tied my thread on, more like the back of our butterfly headband, I'll just put my, put some hot glue there, and then I'll put my clip, attach my clip on it, okay, firmly attach it on it, and then our beautiful butterfly headband is ready! I would love to see yours. I cannot wait to see yours, in fact. Here are the various ways you can wear this butterfly headband by the side. You can decide to also wear at the back after you've wrapped your hair. You can decide to free your hair without wrapping it, you know, and just clip it there. Mm -hmm. 